going on, man? Y'all see, it's a beautiful day. I'm back with another vid. Hey, I'm trying to keep them coming, man. You feel me? So, they're really like an update vid on the um, Green Z28 I was doing. So, y'all see, I had put in a, um, a shifter. This beautiful thing right here. So, y'all see, I put in the shifter. I test drove it, but... I test drove it, but I ain't let y'all really see, you feel me? So this video is basically gonna be a test drive. I might cut up on though. He gave me the okay to cut up, but he ain't really got that much tire tread. I, I might do a little something, something. So um, I did that. Uh, I did the gauge. I still ain't even really got that situated, but I did. You know, so his, his, his car is a little weird. The way the LT1s were set up in the F body. So, we gonna probably try to get the uh, factory gauge, get the factory gauge working, but yeah, man, I had to do an oil change. I had to replace the uh, mass airflow. Um, the man fucking line had bust on the exhaust. So what I'm gonna try to do is push these up some more so I can put two connectors on each side. You feel me? Um, Somebody might gonna try to flame me. You know what I'm saying? Tell me some. Oh, uh, that, that 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 probably ain't gonna work. But hey, <laughs> that's all I can say. Hey, you know, everybody got something to say about everything. So I don't really be stunned with folks talking about. It. Before I do the test drive, gotta put in the window motor. Not really a how-to, but it's a how-to. So with these old-ass vehicles. They got rivets on the fucking motor, which is a pain in the ass. I already drilled this, so you gotta drill. This hole might gotta be a little bigger than this. Do not unscrew these screws right here, my boy. Because I fucked up. I unscrewed them, so when I put the window motor back in, I'm gonna have to set these back up, or set these up first, then put the window motor in. But, yeah, what you wanna do, man, you wanna drill three three holes. These where your rivets gonna be. This on the passenger side. So, this hole actually probably gotta be a little bigger, you know, towards this this right here okay you can see the rivet you feel me then i already drilled that out so get you some craftsmen's because it broke my last shit so we're going to go on and go right into the video all right so first thing we're going to do to get more leverage you want to go on and take this speaker out and it's going to be one it's going to be four seven millimeter bolts so we're going to go on and do that real quick i lied it's not seven millimeter i don't know what this is uh, say one fourth, so like a seven sixteenth or something like that, some weird shit. So yeah, <laughs> all right, finally got it. it. Took me about 30 45 minutes. Only reason it took so long is because of these screws. I I had to put these up. You feel me? So do not mess with nothing on this side to save time. But this shouldn't take no more than 20 minutes. And still broke a fucking drill bit. Ain't this some shit? Damn. Wonder if I got a warranty on one of these hoes. Shit. But, um, so. Oh, that's why that bitch don't work. Look how bad it looks. Sheesh. This is the new one. You feel me? So, let's get this hooked up and let's test it up. Alright, got it hooked up. Now, before you even hook it up to, the, like, the car and bolt everything back, you want to test it. You feel me? Hey, one, the other one barely moving. Let's go. I right, bet. So I got everything in. You shall see. You know, if, if you don't got no room, you can um either you can either grind this out some more or just use a magnet to get the screw in. You could do either side, but I felt what the hell did that come out? That came out. I'm glad I caught it, but. Yeah, you could do uh, either side, but I recommend putting the bolt on the back because it's easier to get to. But, all right, a little secret. After you get this on, so your window could be flush with this. If it's not flush, it's going to leak rain. So, well, rain, water, whatever the case may be. But it will leak if it's not flush. So, the secret to that is let the window down a little bit. You know, about right, like right there. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna untie these. Don't take them out. Untie them. You, you should have four. So it'll probably be like one, two, three, four. If you got two, that's fine too. Now, what you wanna do, take the window from the bottom. Damn, I can't do it. Let me see. Take the window and push it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. 
you're gonna push it up like this make sure the back even with the front or it'll sag in the back so you want to hold it up and you're going to tighten these back up you know what i'm saying it might drop down just a little bit but that's what the extra for so boom you know what I'm saying? Now nice it's flush. All right. So I'm done with that. Now what I'm finna do, I'm finna test drive the car. So let's go. I'm finna go on and put everything back together. All right. So we at the gas station. It's driving good. You feel me? Stitch shift going crazy. Can't see nothing. You feel me? Feel me?
shit was lit as fuck, bro. I like his shit, his shit slide way better than my car. Y'all see, I had to get the feel of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I went and got that. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, if y'all tuned in to the last video, I just picked up me a Z28 third gen Camaro. Come up, I had to switch up my auto, jumped in the hell cow.